All right, all right, check this out. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So this is commonly known as the lockdown stabilization effect and it's pretty easy to do so let's go do it yo welcome to episode 4 real quick tuesday this one is a really sick effect and it's really easy too so i'm sure you're gonna love it so let's jump straight in so we're in davinci resolve right here and uh, on this timeline i have these three clips and the one we're gonna be using today is of this girl right here uh, jogging at the beach and this uh, shot is really good because it's a wide shot and she really pops from the background which is gonna be really important so that that tracking can do a great job right so this is how the shot is before the effect so just a girl jogging on the beach pretty nice pretty, pretty good shot and from here we're gonna have to press shift 5 to go to fusion tab i know i know fusion tab but uh, bear with me this is really really easy i promise right so make sure play heads at the beginning of the clip and all you have here is your two nodes so your media in and your media out media in basically is the video that you are inputting so the video that you're seeing right here and media out is going to be the final results of all of the changes and effects that you add in this line here in between these two nodes so pretty easy right media in media out so with that said make sure that your media in is selected so you got the red outline and then you press shift spacebar and you start uh, typing tracker you're gonna see here this tracker tra and all you're gonna do, you're gonna press add and it's gonna automatically add that tracker in between those two nodes. So this little green uh, square is gonna appear, appear here and this is gonna be your tracker. If you see the left corner over here, you got this tiny square. Uh, this is the, the square that you're gonna click and drag so you can position your tracker on your desired area. So in this case, it's gonna be this girl's face. Uh, so you just uh, put it in the middle of her face right here. And then the solid uh, square around it is going to be where you're going to click and drag to change the size and, um, and the shape of this tracker. So we're just going to uh, change it so it englobes the whole, whole face. And the dotted line, it's the area where the Vinci Resolve is going to look for the initial track information that you added in case it loses uh, that for a second for a few frames. So we're just going to put this a little bit bigger than uh, our original tracker so after that all you have to do you go here to the right your inspector if you don't have your inspector open all you have to do is just click here where it says inspector and it's gonna open uh, under tracking you have here all of these parameters over here right so if you hover around you're gonna see that it says track forward from current time this is why it's, uh, it's important for us to have our playhead at the beginning because it's gonna track everything forward from that current time which is our first frame which is perfect which is what we want but if you want to start from the middle it's fine you just place your playhead in the middle track forward uh, or track backwards like here and you can track just a little just a portion of the video so you can put this effect just in a little piece it doesn't have to be in the whole thing in this case we're putting on the whole video you should also play with your adapted mode over here because this uh, is going to give you different results depending on your shot so just see which one works best for you for me i'm going to put every frame right so now after i have all this selected i'm just going to press uh, track forward from current time and you're going to see that resolve is going to start tracking that video and it seems like it's doing a pretty good job so let's wait for it to finish and see all right good so it finished rendered so you can see all the tracking information here let's play it back let's see if it's if it done a great job yep just sticks to our face perfectly i got nothing to to change over here so you got the track but you see that nothing is happening really so that's because we have to go here under operation click it and then under operation you you want to go and change that to match move then you go here to merge and then you put background on and this is going to mean that this tracking information is going to affect only the background it's going to change the background to match that tracking information and it's going to give you this cool effect right here check it out so basically the bulk of the effect is done it looks sick right but now you see that you have all these bars here on the side that we're gonna have to crop to get rid of otherwise you're just gonna have black bars because all of this here is just transparent so way what you do is you scroll until you see where's the biggest gap that you have so i guess is right here and with your tracker selected you just go shift and space bar again and you just put transform 
you see right here and you click it and you add again it's gonna add automatically on transform what you're gonna do is you're gonna increase the size so it zooms in quite a bit and then let's let's mess here with the y a little bit and with the x so that we can cover that and let's see if that's gonna be enough to to hide all those those spots yep yeah. It seems perfect to me and just like that this effect is done it looks really sick right so yeah it's just that easy now I'm gonna show you a few other examples that I prepared here for you just so you can see so if you go back shift 4 to go back to our edit tab you got here our girl uh, running at the beach perfect and then the next one is gonna be this girl here running in place so again the same thing really cool just following her head such a sick shot and the other one is this girl here skipping rope look at that that's just a sick effect so this one is amazing i'm sure if you do that it's going to elevate your production and, and of course it's a very specific look so it's not going to fit every shot every video but um yeah it just looks sick so if you do it make sure that you tag me i'd love to check out your work and if you found this video helpful i'm sure you're gonna like this one too so check it out smash the like button subscribe uh, love you all and i'll see you next tuesday